Hi and welcome back to Three Tails RV. My name is Aaron. On today's episode, we're going to show you how to build a headboard for your RV. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Got this ready. We're going to show you what we're going to need for this build. We got a sheet of particle board. We've also got a measuring tape, a phonetic stapler. You can use a regular one. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pen to write down your measurements. You're also going to need some backing, some matting, polyester batting, and you can't forget your wife approved fabric that you're going to use to cover it with. So we'll be right back and we'll start this build. Another thing you're going to need is also the crew that's going to help you put this together. Say hi, guys. Speak. Speak. Good boy. Good girls. So the first thing you're going to do is go in and measure where your headboard's going to be in your RV. What we came up with for ours, that may not be very for yours, is 63 and 7 inch inches across and 35 inches tall. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and measure from one end to the other, give us our 35 inches tall, and then we'll come across and do the same thing at 63, measure, 63 and 7 eighths across. And we'll go ahead and mark our spots. We're going to go ahead and create our lines. I got a pen, you can use a pencil, whatever you have at hand. We're just going to mark to run this across. For our lengthwise, and we'll do the same thing going this way. And then we'll get our circular saw and start cutting. Right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the router and I'm going to put a nice round over edge. You don't have to have a router. You can use a piece of sandpaper and you can achieve the same thing. It just takes a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and get this. I'm going to round over every edge. And what that's going to do is help get the fabric to go around a little bit smoother. So that's the reason for doing it. And what that does is it takes the edge off so it's not quite so sharp and just smooths it out. All right, so now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and use the palm sander. It'll take out any little perfections it did with the router. And like I said before, you can use this and you can just sweep it in a sweeping motion across the edge and it'll help knock it off if you don't have a router. So right now I'm going to clean up these edges a little bit. Get out any imperfections, hit the side, and we'll go from there. All right, now that we got uh, all cut out and routered and sanded, now we need to clean up a little bit. So I'm just going to clean this off and. Alright, now it's time for the batting. So we're gonna go ahead and take the batting out of the out of the bag here. And open this up. And it's got quite a, about an inch from the edge for the first one. And what that's gonna do is give it a more of a pillow effect when it's on the wall. All right, so now that we've got that cut out, we're gonna use our staplers and cut stapler. Kinetic stapler, so if it kicks on, the compressor kicks on. Not my fault. 
Just going to try and get this into the corners here. Alright, so for this part, what we did is we put the uh, batting up here. We're going to go two inches across in all the diameters around the outside of this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this and we'll show you the next step. Alright, so we got this cut out. Now there's no exact science to putting this on. It doesn't have to be beautiful with the cuts. As you can see, none of these cuts are straight. That's my fault. And the reason why I say that is don't try and make it too perfect. You'll be there all day trying to get it to be nice. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to tack this along the edge so that it will stay on there. So we're going to take this. All right, now that we've got that completed, what we're going to do is we're going to, we flipped over the project. And now we're going to take the rest of this batting. We're just going to fold it over. And we're going to tack it into place. Don't pull, just kind of fold it over. You don't want too many ripples in the inside of that. So we're just going to take and fold. Fold it over like so. Now, my lovely assistant, once we get this to the corner, we're going to pull this up here like so. Hopefully, the compressor won't kick in. When you're putting the staples in, you want to go about six to eight inches apart. It's enough to keep it in there. But now I'm going to show you how to do these edges. All you want to do is get it just like we got it here. Up, I put a staple in tight here and staple in tight there. You're just going to cut it here at a 45 degree angle. Like so. I'm going to take those pieces together like this. And we will put a nail right in the corners. Okay, now that we've got the foam backing on it, we flipped it the project back over again. And now my lovely assistant is going to come over and help me to uh, get this fabric out. This is what I got. Okay, so you got we got it all laid out here with three to six inches on all sides except for. And that's not right. And what you want to try and do, like with our pattern here, we want to keep that pattern as centered centered as possible so that now that we've got it all centered and into place we're going to go ahead and cut the fabric along this back side and along this side and we'll be right back after we get done doing that and we'll show all right so now we've got the fabric where we want it what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead again tack it onto the edges because nobody's going to see the edge and then we'll flip it around like we did before. So we'll be right back. All right, so now that we've got that completed, and we're going to flip over the project again. Now we're going to do like we did before. We're just going to run staples along this edge. And what we decided to make it easier for us, we're going to go ahead and staple this all in. And then we're going to go back through and cut out the edges. So we're going to go ahead and put staples in, and we'll be right back. All right, I want to show you up close how I do one of these corners with the with this fabric. What I do is I start up high, and then I come down as close as I possibly can to to the material. I'm trying not to get into the shot here. Oops. Just like so. And again, this doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's going to see it. <coughs> you take and you fold under and you fold the little tab over that's there and you put a staple in it. And 
then we just put another staple in a little bit higher and a little bit higher and that just finishes off the corner and then with the excess and we decided just to go ahead and leave it and put staples across the top to secure it in place so there's that so for the last step we thought about using this insul the, the silver insulation to go ahead and put a backer on there to help uh, keep Thank you.